Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the best budget-friendly pencils for beginners. We are going to go over all of the different pencils that are available to you. I'm going to discuss the prices of each. I am going to go in order from the ones that cost the least to the ones that cost the most. I have three pencil choices that are wax based and then I have one really great budget friendly pencil that is oil based. So there is something for everyone in this video. If you don't have the budget for Prismacolor pencils, Luminance pencils, uh, Polychromos pencils, so I'm going to show you substitutes for all of those and I'm also going to give you examples of how they color and we're going to do a little bit of a blend test for each one of these pencils. So stick around if you want to see that. If you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on so that you're always notified every time I post new content. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. The very first pencil set I want to share with you is the Crayola colored pencils, specifically this 120 set. Right now they are available on Amazon for only $22.97. The price on Amazon does go up and down and fluctuate a little bit from day to day. They have been $23, $24, even $25. This is actually the lowest price I've seen today for only $22.97. Of course that is U.S. because I'm in the U.S. I will have a link for these pencils down in the description box below if you're interested in them after I show you a little bit about them. But this is a great set of pencils, especially if you are a beginner and you're just starting out coloring and you just want to try adult coloring and see how much you really enjoy it and if you're going to actually stick with the hobby. But this is a great place to start. So. I don't actually have my pencils in that box. I just wanted to show you the box that the pencils came in. But I've got mine in this beautiful case. These are my favorite cases. I always have a link to these cases down in the description box if you're interested in getting one for yourself. I like this case because it has just single holders and I always like to leave spaces in between my pencils just in case I get a replacement set or something and I want an extra space to be able to fit other things. Or if I'm using certain colors, I like to have these spaces over here available to me so that I don't forget the color combination or the colors I'm working on if I'm coloring something and I have to just kind of stop in the middle of whatever I'm doing to go attend to kids or cook dinner or whatever it is I have to do in my day. Because you guys, I don't know, I don't ever get to sit down and just color. <laughs> not in large increments of time. But let me just flip through here and I'll show you the colors. I am going to link up in the upper right hand corner my video where I swatched all of these out. I believe that now I have a whole playlist for the Crayolas. So if you're interested in these pencils and you want to see what they can do, I'll make sure that I link actually the playlist up there in the upper right hand corner. But the colors are fabulous. You've got an array of beautiful greens. Look at some of these colors. Like the colors in this set, I've been telling you guys in all of my videos, the colors in this set are just absolutely amazing. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, bright, light green. And then look at all the blues that you get. And then here we go into the teals and then the greens. And then you've got more blues as we go into the purples and then our pinks and I'm just gonna flip through it really quickly so that you could see this because I've already done a complete review of these pencils which you'll find in the playlist but look at these colors there are so many fluorescent colors in this set and beautiful gorgeous very different colors that if you do have a set of something like Prisma colors you can actually mix these pencils and use them right along with the Prismacolors. I've seen a few artists on YouTube suggest to use the Crayolas as like the first very light layer and then you can go over that with your Prismacolors and really create some beautiful color combinations. 
Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a blend test with these Crayola pencils so that you can see exactly how they blend together. So I went to my Crayola set and I picked a few colors and I'm going to show you exactly how they blend together here on my swatch sheet that I created. I decided to go with blues just because I'm kind of feeling the blues today. I don't know. <laughs> and I think when I do each one, I'm going to stick to the blues just so that you could see the difference in each one of these budget friendly pencils. And then the next one that I chose was Blue Tiful. And if you're wondering what paper I'm using, it is the Spring Hill paper. You guys know how much I love this paper. It has quite a bit of tooth and it's great for colored pencils. I will also have this paper linked in the description box below. Now I have blue and we're just going to pull that one down. There's not that much of a color difference between those two, is there? There will be now. Now we have light blue. But look how well they do blend together. I could even add another color here, maybe. There are some gorgeous shades of blue in this set. I decided to go ahead and add the Absolute Zero, just to show you how they blend when I come down here. Uh, with colors that have a little bit more of a contrast between the two of them. So let's go ahead and add our absolute zero down here. This is a very light but very pretty color. Now let's go ahead and come back and do a second layer. So we started with our midnight blue. Let's go ahead and go this direction so we could kind of fill in some of the white of the paper. When you're trying to blend your pencils together and you're trying to fill the white of the paper, which is also called burnishing, if you go the other direction, it really helps to pull those colors together. Let's come back here with our blue tiful. And I'm going in a circular motion, kind of sideways. But they're blending together beautifully. And I mean, for 120 pencils, for $22.97, I've never seen them go above around, I would say maybe $24, I think. And then the next one we had was blue. The next one I have is light blue. We're going to come over that one with another layer. I'm going to pull it down a little bit into that absolute zero that I decided to add here at the end. And then we're coming back in with that absolute zero. Look how gorgeous this color is. And then, of course, if you wanted to use your lightest color to go back and just kind of burnish these together, you just go back over it with your lightest color. And then you can always come back and go this direction, too. But look how nice these blended out. I still have quite a bit of the white of the paper, but this is just really a blend test to show you how, um, how they blend together and not necessarily a blending tutorial. There's plenty of those on my channel if you would like to uh, watch one of those. But that is the Crayolas. Look how beautiful they blended together. These were our colors. Very pretty colors. The last thing I want to show you with these Crayola pencils is what I colored with these. I did a video on, on this and it will be in my Crayola playlist that will be linked. 
but look how gorgeous this blend came out. It is absolutely beautiful. The colors are just amazing. I really, really love this set, and I highly recommend this set to anybody who is just starting out and just wants to see if this is the hobby for you or you're actually going to stick with it before you go out and you purchase yourself some really expensive pencils. These are my number two favorite budget-friendly pencils. They are the Speer Farben pencils. This is the 96 set. You can compare these to the Polychromos. These are an oil-based pencil. They do have very bright, vivid colors, like it says on the box, and they are very pigmented. They blend together beautifully. I did do a full review and swatching on these, I believe, uh, a little further back on my channel. And if I can find that, I will go ahead and link that in the upper right-hand corner so that you could watch that video. But these are wonderful pencils. This is the tin they come in. This is the 96 set, and right now on Amazon, they are $47.97, which is a fantastic price. That is one of the lower prices that they have been in quite a while. I've seen them go as high as $79.97. I will have a link for these pencils down in the description box below if you decide you want to purchase these for yourself after watching me show you how these pencils work and how they blend together. And I'm also going to show you a coloring piece that I did with these pencils and how beautiful they look. So let's go ahead and look at the pencils so that y'all could see the color range. Again, this is one of my favorite cases. And all of my cases are all the same brand by the same company. I will definitely have it linked for you. But look how gorgeous these colors are. Here's the other side of that. And then we've got our blues and our purples. And then we go into our greens. For a 96 set, you get a really good array of colors. Look at these gorgeous colors. Look at this gorgeous green. Bright, bright green. It's so pretty. I love using this color when I'm coloring leaves. I always like to use that for my highlight color. And then we've got quite a few grays in this set. And then we've got a good amount of browns and then we've got some browns that have reds in them but I did a video where I swatched them all out so I'm not gonna really get into detail as far as that goes because I really just want to show you guys the best pencil choices that are budget friendly and fantastic for beginners so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to do a blend test now I do want to say I looked on Amazon and these pencils are available for the $47.97 for the 96 set. It looks like the 96 set is the only one that is available right now. They used to have a 72 set available, but they are no longer. So I don't know what the story is with that. Let me go ahead and pick my colors. Again, I'm gonna to try to go with blues so that we could kind of compare the differences between the two pencils. I chose four colors for this color combination instead of five because I was able to get a pretty good contrast. So I've got indigo, Prussian blue, this one I was trying to figure out the name for a little while. Apparently it's Vainamalo Beach, which is apparently a beach in Hawaii. Yes, I had to Google it and look up the pronunciation. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> and then this one, oh my gosh, some of the names. Now I gotta pronounce this one. Cocolitos Water. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm not gonna look that one up. If I pronounced it wrong, I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> so let's go ahead and lay our indigo down. You guys probably know when I talk about blues and I always do something with the blue in my videos. I always tell you that indigo is always my favorite darkest of the blues in most all of my sets. So let's go ahead and lay that one down. And then this is the they, or this is the Prussian blue. Look, these when these lay down, they lay down so smooth. They feel so soft. And when I tell you I enjoy these more than my polychromos. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I really love these pencils. But you would compare these to the budget-friendly version of the Polychromos just because they are an oil-based pencil. So if you like oil-based pencils better than wax-based pencils or you want to just try your hand at an oil-based pencil and you don't want to spend a lot of money 
These are a fantastic choice. You will be so pleased with these. Let's go ahead and come down and just fill the whole box with this color since I'm not gonna choose another one. Now we're gonna come back with our darkest color which was our what indigo and I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time and I'm just going to kind of come back and see how well they blend together. Now we've got our Prussian blue again. Look how well these come together. These are just such beautiful pencils and they are really a joy to use. This is our Veymanello Beach. I'm just kind of pulling it down into this color just to show you how they blend and how well they work. And then this is our Cocolitos Water. Again, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> and I'm just kind of going sideways to fill a little bit of that tooth of the paper and to get these to blend together. And if you wanted to, let just like with the others, you apply these. They're an oil-based pencil, so they go down better if you use light layers, but you can go back and burnish these as well and just come back over them. But if I had to compare these to the Polychromos, I really, really love these. And I will show you right now, I have the perfect example that I colored in Joanna Basford World of Flowers. If you look at this page, this right here was colored with Polychromos. And this one here at the bottom was colored with these Spear Farben pencils. So now you can see them both in the same frame and both of them together. And if you had to compare these two, this one done with the Polychromos and this one done with the Spear Farben pencils, can you even tell a difference? I actually on this paper had a more difficult time. You can see right here, if I pull this a little bit closer, you could see right here in the leg where I had a little bit more difficult time with the Polychromos. But when I was layering these, I did not have any trouble at all. I love the way that they go down, especially in this book. Now, we all know it's all about paper. So the polychromos do work very well on the Spring Hill paper that I'm using. And they may work better in other books. I've not really tested it out. But we all know that it's very important to match your pencils to your paper. So just because one pencil is oil-based, just like another pencil is oil-based, it doesn't always necessarily mean that it is going to work as well on a certain book or on a particular paper. These are my next favorite set of budget-friendly pencils, and I highly recommend these for every beginner. These are fabulous pencils. I would consider these very close to Prismacolors. They blend very, very well. You can go back and see some of my videos where I've colored with these. I think that I'm going to go ahead and make a whole, um, a whole playlist specifically for the Arteza pencils because I've done a lot of coloring with these. So if you go back on my channel and you go to where the playlists are and you look for the Adult Coloring for Beginners series, you will be able to find a slew of videos where I've colored with these pencils. And I'm going to show you what I colored with these pencils after we get through this part of me showing you these pencils. So this is the tin that they come in and it says that they are blendable break resistant and you get 120 unique colors which I would agree the colors in the set are beautiful they say that they are artist quality they also claim that they are light fast but that I don't know if we could really prove how light fast they actually are since they are a more budget friendly pencil but since most of us that are watching this video are colorists we don't need to worry about something being light fast or how light fast it is because this is just a hobby for most of us and most of us if we're worried about that we're going to be looking for pencils such as the luminance 
that are completely light fast. So let's go ahead and look at the pencils and I'm going to show you the array of colors in these. And there is a full review on my channel for these pencils. So if you're interested in that, I'm sure that I will have links for all of the stuff that I'm talking about, like I always do. <laughs> but look at these gorgeous colors. Look at all these beautiful sharp leads. <laughs> you can tell that I have been using these because I always like to keep sharp leads on my very favorite pencils and I've used these for a lot of videos but what is so unique about this set is you get all these gorgeous metallics and these have all been swatched out and they are beautiful this blue is amazing like if I were to buy this set I would be buying this set because I wanted this blue like there is no other color in any other set like this, what they're calling dreamy blue, that I have ever seen in any other set. It's a very unique pencil, but they put that one there with the other metallics where they've got their silvers and their other colors. But if you look at this color too, this one is called unicorn purple, and this one actually looks more like a rose gold type color when you swatch it. I really, really love that color. So there's our array of colors. Now it's time for our blend test so we could see how well these Artezas blend together. Let's go ahead and start with Midnight Blue. Then I have Prussian Blue. And sea blue. And then my last color, I chose robin egg blue, which is a color that has a little bit of a contrast. Now, I do want to tell you what I noticed when I was looking at this set. There are not a whole lot of choices for blues. So, if you look at these and we're comparing them, with the Spear Farben set, I had better choices for blues. And even with the Crayola set, I had better choices for blues. There is not a super light, bright color that has a little bit of teal in it in the blues in the Arteza set. So I just wanted to let you all know that in case that was something that may be important to you. Let's come back and go this direction. These do blend together very, very well. But with any pencil set that you get, especially a budget set, you're always going to have more of one color, less of another color. And all of the sets are very different. So even if you wanted to pick yourself up a couple different sets so that you can mix your colors, that's a fantastic idea as well. And then let's go ahead and lay down our last color. And I would say that this looks a lot like the Spear Farben, even though these are an oil-based pencil and these are a wax-based pencil. Look at the comparison when it comes to the pigments. I mean, for a budget-friendly pencil, they do have a lot of pigment in them. These darker colors, when I was laying down the Spear Farben one, I couldn't believe I could get more layers on there. And if I did with this darkest blue, that would be just so dark and just so vibrant and have so much pigment and the Arteza as well. Like if I kept coming back with this Midnight Blue, let's see what we can do here. But if I used a little bit harder pressure, it is definitely darkening up. Now see if I go the other direction. And then I come back with this color. Look how much pigment these have. 
So it's not to say just because you're in a budget and you want to purchase some budget friendly pencils and you don't want to spend a lot of money. It's not to say that you're not going to get pencils with very close to the same quality as what you're going to get with a more expensive brand pencil. But you can see when you look at these that if you compare the Crayola to the Spear Farben to the Arteza, the Crayola does not look like it has as much pigment in it, but that's fine because if I came back and I just, the way that you have to work with the uh, Crayola pencils I have found is that if you just lay layer after layer and treat them as though they are an oil-based pencil, you will be able to get quite a few layers down on the paper and they will look much more pigmented. Now, I don't think that when I did the Crayola one, I laid as much layers down or as many layers down as I did with the Spear Farben and the Arteza. Like with all of the others, I have showed you something that I've colored with each one of these pencils. And this is what I colored with this pencil. I did a fantastic tutorial in this one. It's actually one of the most popular videos on my channel. I will try to have that linked in the upper right hand corner so you could go take a look at that. But I did a tutorial on how to create textures and how to apply your highlights and your shadows and all of that. And it was, like I said, a very popular video. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will make sure that it is linked for you. But it turned out absolutely beautiful. I did everything here with Artezas. You can see by looking at this that you do not need very expensive pencils to make your art or your coloring page look as though you did use more expensive pencils. So for the next one, I don't have any of the cases, but my next most beloved pencils <laughs> are the Black Widows. I have several videos on my channel where I've colored with the Black Widows. I have actually swatched all 144 pencils when the Monarchs came out. And there is a video for that on my channel that has been extremely popular. So many people have gone back to that video after having every single set of these pencils and I just basically put them all into perfect color family order for you and kind of took all the work out of it for you so that you can go ahead and just watch the video and sit down and get all your pencils swatched. So these pencils, this is what they look like. They have a black barrel and then they have the color on the tips. All of them are very different. Some of them don't have the color on the tips like the very first sets. You have the Scorpion set, you'll find that labeled on the pencils, but you've got the Scorpion set, and then you've got the Monarch set. They're all very different, which is one of the things I think a lot of people um, are kind of, I don't know, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say not happy with. I'm not... I'm not not happy with it. I really, really love these pencils. But I guess as they have started and then moved forward and came out with other sets, they decided to change things that people had requested. Like when they first came out, they came out, they had absolutely no names on them. And everybody was like, we want names on the pencils. So they let everybody in the community choose the names for the pencils. So they've got some very creative names, I will say that. But if you purchase these pencils, you have to purchase them by sets. The one great thing about these pencils is that if you can't afford to purchase them all at once, you could kind of just build your set and buy the sets that you want, like first, second, third, fourth. I think there are the first three that came out were the um, Scorpion. I think the Scorpion was the first set that, or no, the Black Widow set was the first set that came out. And then I believe maybe the Scorpion and then the Cobra, those were the first three sets that came out. Then they came out with two skin tone sets. The first three sets are $17.57 each. And I believe they come with 24 pencils in each of those. And then you get the skin tone sets, which you get a light tone or a light skin tone set and then there is a dark skin tone set available all of these are all different colors in all of the sets none of the sets have any of the same colors so if you purchase all of them you're going to have a full set of 144 pencils so with that being said the last set that they came out with was kind of a set that just kind of filled in all of the slots where there were a lot of pastel colors that came in that set, absolutely beautiful colors, like great colors that you could use for highlights. 
but a lot of like green pastels and pink pastels and orange pastels. It's a gorgeous set and then it came with some grays and some browns. The Monarchs were the very last set that came out and those are, they come with 48 pencils and right now on Amazon they are $24.57. I know for myself I paid more than that because when they first came out, I believe they were maybe $32, $34. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the price was then. So they're a great price right now. You get 48 pencils for $24.57. So with these to get the entire full set of pencils, you're gonna spend $100.42. That's what I came out with when I did the math. So the beauty of these pencils though is if you just wanna purchase the individual sets and just kind of build your set as your funds become available, that is where this set really comes in or really shines. Because if you go out and you buy your Prismacolors, you have to right away spend that 90 or $100 or whatever it is, or if you find a really great deal, the cheapest I've ever seen them is about $80 for the full set, or maybe like right around $78 for the full set. But you have to purchase them all at once. So with these, at least you've got some pencils that you can color with and do things with in the meantime while you're waiting to get the funds to purchase the other sets so that you could have the full complete set of 144 pencils. So if I go through these, they all have black barrels and I'm just gonna kind of flip through. I have plenty of videos with these pencils on my channel. So I'm gonna flip through and you could just kind of look at the leads, I would guess, to kind of get an idea of the colors that are available in here because the top dipped or the dipped tops on these pencils they don't match what color actually comes out in the leads of these pencils but there are some gorgeous colors in this set and i will tell you that if you've already got the prisma color set these pencils with the prisma colors work beautifully together really really beautiful this is the one set that i know that has a lot of really gorgeous pinks in it Lots of beautiful highlight colors. Look at all these gorgeous yellows. So there's a lot of pretty colors in this set. We're gonna go ahead and flip to our blues because we are gonna pick out some colors so that we could do a blend test with these. Let's go ahead and try these pencils out. I believe that I've got some different ones from different, actually, I have a lot of, a lot of these are from the Monarch set, so the most recent set. Like I told you, that set has some of the most beautiful colors in it. And of course, those are the colors I chose. And I chose this sky color because that is my absolute favorite color in this entire set. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and lay down the Aquarius. And the next color I have is Ocean. The next one is Denim. And the next one is Sky. I love this color so much. Let's go ahead and come back with our second layer, just like we did with the others. Now we're gonna come back with our ocean and apply a second layer and kind of blend that in so you can see how well they blend. These are a harder pencil and they're not gonna, they're not gonna feel like when you use a Prismacolor, if you used a Prismacolor before, they are so, so soft. These are going to be a harder pencil, but they do blend really, really well. And I'm going to show you some stuff that I've colored with it, or with these pencils. 
right after we finish doing this blend test. And the piece that I'm going to show you, I actually colored here in my channel. So you can go back and you can check that video out. But these are one of my favorite sets of pencils. And let's go ahead and test and just see really quick how much pigment they actually have. Let me come back and go back this direction. And look how dark and vibrant this color gets. And I'm kind of going in a circular motion. And then we'll come back with our ocean again. And look how the layers just keep coming with these pencils. They are really fabulous pencils. And of course they are at the end of this video because they are considered a budget friendly pencil but they are the most expensive out of all of the ones that I showed you. So I wanted to make sure that I went in order of cost since I wanted to gear this video towards beginners. So there are the Black Widow pencils and as you can see they blended beautifully together. I mean I could still get quite a few more layers down there. My goal was not necessarily to burnish it out but just to show you the transition between the colors and how they will blend for you if you're working with these on your coloring page. So as with all the others I wanted to show you something that I did color with these pencils. I colored this flower with these pencils and right here I really put the Black Widows to the test. That's exactly what I called my video too. I think it was called the ultimate test because so many people wanted to see what would happen if I tried to blend colors together that really were not like one another at all and just completely contrasting but they blended really really well and it turned out very very beautiful. So I'll make sure that video is linked or my entire playlist for the Black Widow pencils. Let's go ahead and take a look at our list now. So we've got the Crayola pencils and they are $22 for 120 pencils. Then we've got the Speer Farben pencils which are our oil based pencil and they are $45 for 96 pencils. Then we've got our Arteza pencils which are $77 for 120 pencils. And then we have our Black Widow pencils, which is a total set of 144 pencils if you purchase all the individual sets. And if you purchase all of the sets individually, it's going to come to $100.42. These are all my suggestions for budget-friendly pencils. I hope you all really got something out of this video. I hope that you were able to decide which pencils you want to go with but I really enjoyed doing this video and it really showed me something as well because now I've got the comparisons here between all of these pencils and now we all know the prices on each one and I hope that I brought you all a lot of information that you were really interested in. If you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you also turn your bell notifications on. I will be coming back with lots more videos and I am also taking requests of what you would like to see on my channel. I love to do videos that you all want to see. So always leave me comments down in the comment section. I always make sure that I check those. Don't ever be afraid to ask me questions. I always try to answer all the questions. If you enjoyed this video, please do make sure you give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel out a whole lot and it helps my videos to be seen by others. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.